Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make the sliced text effect in Illustrator CC. We're going to start by pressing T, clicking and writing some text. I'm going to use the text Samurai. You see that the text size is gigantic. I'm using Bandschrift and I'm going to move this so it's within our artboard like that. And I'm just going to vertically and horizontally center it in the artboard. Now having done this, we're going to press Object expand to change this into um, actually shapes and then we're going to go to the unite the pathfinder and we're going to press unite and that just removes all these tiny little shapes that we have in there next thing we're going to do we're going to right click and press ungroup now we're going to use the line segment tool and we're going to chop this in half so i'm going to choose a point somewhere right over here and drag a line across to right about there and i'm actually going to move this line a tiny bit lower okay Having drawn that line, it doesn't have to have a stroke, select everything and go to Pathfinder and press Divide. So now we have two sets of objects. We go right click and ungroup. First thing we do now is we select the top bit, so just the edge of all those things, press Ctrl G to group it and change the color to something like, I'm going to choose a red, like that. Okay. And we're going to do the same at the bottom, select all these black objects, right click and press group. Okay. Now select your top objects, zoom in a bit and just move them so they're slightly offset. I'm going to go something like that. Okay. So there's a bit offset. They've kind of slid off one another. You can make it a tiny bit more like that. Okay, cool. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to press M and we're going to draw a rectangle from up here down to roughly here for now. I'm going to ask you to press P, which is your pen tool, and add a point right here just by clicking on this path and clicking on this path right here. And then press A, which is your direct select key, zoom into that path and click on that anchor point and snap it to this extent on this side. And if we zoom into over here, grab that anchor point and snap it to this point right here. Okay, then grab this anchor point, drag it down so it's roughly the same angle as all the others like that. That bit is not so important. And if we zoom to here, do the same thing. Grab this anchor point and drag it so it's the same angle that goes with there to there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this layer. We're going to press layers. Actually, we're going to change the color to a white instead of a red. So we'll go white. Okay, and then we're just going to select that layer. And here we see the red text. We're going to select this red text. We're going to move this red text up like that and select this. So it goes right below the red text. So now we have the red on top, the white in the middle and the black at the bottom. OK, so the black is at the bottom. You can see it right there as a group. What we do now, all we do is we select this white object and we go to effect, stylize and drop shadow. We're going to see the drop shadow that's applied right there. Opacity I'll keep about 80. X offset is how much you want to move on le left and right. Um, we can move this kind of like that. Y offset is how far you want it to move down. I'm going to keep it at around 20. And the blur obviously is how much do you want a blur. A zero point is a really strong blur. blur and the higher up, the more gradual the blur. So I'm going to move it something like that. We press OK. Unselect our shape. And there we go. We've now created our sliced text effect. That's all it is. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check out our other videos, hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, write them in the comments below. And of course, as always, have a great day.